Welcome to the Sunsplash Mix Show. I'm Selective Princess. I am Ja Prince, and we really cover a lot of reggae music on our podcast, the Sunsplash Mix Show. Thanks to everyone who is downloading, subscribing, sharing, leaving comments, and just waking me up, talking about festivals all around the world, including Sierra Nevada World Music Festival. Who do we have here today uh, representing the festival? Oh, that's for me. Um, I'm Gretchen Smith, and um, I'm heading up the team this year. This was uh, my husband's uh, baby, Warren Smith. He um, passed away in 2021, and so we're bringing it back this year in his honor. And um, yeah, so it's been five years. You have certainly been there most of the way. Can you tell us what's the mission or is there a theme for this year's event? You know, I, I it, it started, what our motto was, the Sierra Nevada World Music Festival is dedicated to nurturing a world family, peacefully united in celebration of the universal spirit of music. And, um, you know, it all stems from my, my husband's uh, vision that, um, you know, that music really unites people and it shows that our, our differences are much less than our similarities. And as a place to, um, you know, he was very um, instrumental in the early days um, in Jamaica, I see the early 70s uh, with Jamaican reggae artists. And, uh, and then he did various other things. He had a, a recording uh, studio, he had a record label, and he just felt that there were so many of these artists from Jamaica and other places in the world whose voices weren't being heard and um, that they needed to be heard. So um, we've always been focused on roots music and um, reggae music was his passion. So it was, you know, he left, he left a pretty clear path of, you know, what we're trying to do. And um, it's all about the community. It's all about trying to bring people together and to um, share some incredible music. That's it. I like it. I like it. it. The staging this year, 2023, we're going from June 16th to the 18th. And I want to find out, Princess, you and I, we haven't gone camping maybe ever. So tell us, uh, Gretchen, how is the experience in Boomville, California? Well, Boomville's great. It's a very quaint town. It has everything. It has some sweet restaurants, and um, but it's rural. So, um, you know, we were campers. I'm not saying I'm a camper anymore, um, but it's very beautiful. Um, it's uh, the... Uh, Boonville, the fairgrounds, is in the middle of the very small town in Anderson Valley, which uh, used to be known for its apple trees and its rolling hills and its old uh, growth oak trees. So it's beautiful, but you know, you're camping. So um, it's car camping, which is great because people can keep their belongings right in their car. Um, we do, um, although we're sold out, we do have full RVs and bus and RV. Um, uh, capacity. Otherwise, you know, there's um, hotels in town, but not many. There's Airbnbs. Um, there's places to stay in Ukiah. Um, I would recommend doing a little bit of Uber, but, um, you know, you're a camper or you're not a camper, <laughs> pretty much. And my, my camping, I, I think my camping has kind of gone by the wayside as I've gotten a little bit older. But. This is annual. So we have family, Friends, relatives, staffers, we're like all one. Mm -hmm. How many people help you to get this annual reunion together? Well, leading up into, we start out very, um, you know, small, a couple of us. And, but by the time we get to the event, we have about, um, let's see, 60 medical on site. Uh, Security is probably another hundred, um, maybe 300 volunteers, um, personnel, probably another 60. And, you know, it's also the vendors. I mean, the vendors add so much to Sierra Nevada. So they're part of the, the creation of, of the event itself. And then, of course, our audience is the best in the world, and they bring all the, the great vibes with it. So it's quite a, a collective of people. And um, the, one of the greatest compliments I think we've received is that it is um, people feel like it's a family reunion, like they're coming home. And that's, that's you know, that means we've achieved our goal 
our um, kids have taken over some of the primary positions. We, most of us that, you know, have been working on it for, since we started, um, have grandkids now that are running around. So that's, that's, it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. Very good feeling. I, I, I love that um, underline that, that tone that it is community. It is the spirit of reggae music and the roots, the foundation, um, and the diversity, the world yeah. music festival. So who's on the lineup? Um, well, our headliners are Friday night. We have Luciano, um, Saturday, uh, Barris, um, and then uh, Sunday we have Burning Spear. So that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, and um, oh my gosh, we have the Seiko Quate and Nagoni, I always get the name wrong, Ba, um, from Mali, and they're fantastic. Um, we have Wesley from Haiti, which will be a, a real treat. And we're pretty uh, we're pretty heavy with the reggae. We have um, Derek Morgan, um, uh, who's going to be back by the Steady 45s, and the Clarendonians, we have some real old school going. Um, we have Soul Syndicate, who is... Um, a band, my husband was very, um, uh, they worked very, very closely together in the, what I call the early days um, in the 70s, and they produced a bunch of albums together. So it's really sweet to have um, Foley and Santa and Tony there. And um, oh, we've got, oh, I can't even think of us, Kabaka Pyramid, uh, Kumar and the Original Fire, Taurus Riley, um, Protege, Lila. Heike, if I said her name right. Um, oh, Jenny Clark, which is, yeah, we, we've got a lot. And in the dance hall, we have um, Ben Loves. We have Rory. We'll be back. And he's um, he's been with us quite a long time, so that's special. And we have um, a guy out of Germany, um, Warrior Sound International. And um, he's won a few sound clashes. And um, so there's a little bit of excitement around that. And then we have some uh, Brazil beat. Uh, sound system, which is out of New Zealand. And, um, you know, I think they'll be fun. And then Job Warrior Shelter Hi-Fi is also in the dance hall. He is a, a local, you know, he's kind of our, our what would you call it, our, our house um, dance hall guys. So Beautiful, beautiful. Listen, those are some great names, including Jawaria Shelter High Fi. Yes, they lock down the West Coast. You don't got to say it, I say it. They lock down the yeah. West Coast. <laughs> they do. We also have Juan G, and he's uh does Afro beats, and he's been very, very popular in Oakland. Um, so I got a few more surprises that I can't tell you yet because we're we're just waiting for things to to come through. Um, Soul Ska, um yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Norma Frazier. Um, yeah. So. And is there a website where people can keep up with updates, purchase tickets? Yes. Yeah. Well, so let's see. So we have a website, and it's s n w m f dot com for Sierra Nevada World Music Festival. Um, dot com, and uh, we're also on Facebook. Um, tickets can be purchased right through the website if. Um, Right now we have three day tickets on sale and on like camping and one day tickets should be on sale about a month out. So we'll be putting those up for sale pretty soon. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. This is, um, yeah. it's exciting. It's exciting. It's been, you know, emotional. It's you know, hard doing it without Warren, but I have to say uh, the reggae community, the world music community, the um, agents Warren worked with over the years, the artists, they have been so kind and so supportive with their time and their knowledge. And it's just, you know, a reflection of our bigger community at large. So it's just, it's, you know, I feel very, very lucky to um, know so many wonderful people and to have this in my life. So it's a gift. Uh, it certainly is, and it gave me goosebumps. So it's in a testament to goosebumps. what you put into the universe. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, like, you know, people always say, say look, there were a couple of years I, I was like, Warren, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> but he was, he's always been the driving force. And it wasn't because I didn't believe in that, in the, in the mission. No. But um, yeah, it's taken a lot of people. We've had a lot, a lot of support over the years. And it takes a community, right? It's certainly to make something like this happen. It really does. And and you helping to promote the show, that that's huge. 
um, you know, we, we're uh, independent. We're not, um, you know, this has never been a uh, money-making venture, although some people think that's crazy. Um, but that's that's not what it's it's all about. Sure, I would, you know, would that be nice? It would be really nice. Um, but, um, you know, there's, there's other things at issue here. So, you know, we'll do the best we can. And I hope you guys are going to make it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm getting my camping gear right now, Princess. We, we we're going to going get I'm going to get fitted and we're going to ask a lot of our members in the groups and on the Sunsplash Make Show on all the platforms from Spotify to Pandora to Amazon Music. How can we find some new friends at the Sierra Nevada World Music Fest? Yeah. Yay, I'm so glad you're, you all will be there. Yes. Yes. And I will see you and we'll get hugs and it'll be all wonderful. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, um, I, I, I hate to keep bringing this back to Warren, but this is all about Warren. And um, no. it's such a gift he gave to my life, um, the music and the people. And um, I feel very um, fortunate that I can help this along a little bit. So 